everyone starting out the day don't feel well, but life has to go on. Got my hair up in a bun. Again, I think I've lived like this for like three or four days, but that's just mom life right now. I've got the mom bun going probably this whole week. I'm feeling a lot better. I don't have the body aches and the cold chills and all that. My throat hurts really, really bad, so I'm still on my antibiotic. I didn't sleep super well last night. I was up every two hours, and then finally at five o'clock, I'm like, I cannot do this any longer. So I got up and I was playing on my phone, and then at six o'clock, I got up and got in the bathtub. Got up and got ready, got the kids to school, although I didn't make their lunch because I didn't want to touch their food because technically, I guess I could still be contagious until 11 o'clock, which is in two hours. I am working today. I've let all my clients know, look, I've been sick. I'm happy to do your nails. If you're okay with it, I will wear a mask and gloves. That's how I'm gonna proceed with today and hope that I don't pass my germs on to anyone. Bummer, you guys, we have not been sick this much, like with Brandon's eye surgery, Ryler having strep, me having strep. Hazel. What are you doing? Do you want to show everyone your outfit? Kirby was so sweet this morning. I said, will you get Hazy an outfit? So we got her this shirt and those pants. And she goes, no, mom, I want to wear a skirt. So she went up and got that skirt and then put the red shoes with it. So she looks beautiful. You are so pretty. Do you want to show everyone your back flips? Do you want to show everyone your back flips? She's calling these back flips. You did so good. You're so good at tumbling, huh? Oh, you're doing a very good job. So something that has happened recently, you guys, I made the decision to really, really, really cut back on nails. I'm hardly doing anybody. I'm just doing family at this point anymore. So I have today and then the last few clients and then I let them know that I'm gonna be scaling it back a ton on nails. Today is kind of a rough day. It's good. It's a decision I made for our family and I feel like it's what's need what needs to happen now for us. That doesn't make it any easier. So unfortunately, not feeling well on the last day is kind of a bummer, but it's gonna be a good change for us. I'm gonna go continue working, get moving along with this day. The 346 minutes later. I just barely finished working for the day. I was really grateful to get up and be able to work today. I did take some safety precautions while working though. I worked with a mask over my face and I wore gloves the whole time because I did not want a chance passing on any germs to anyone. I let everyone know ahead of time that I wasn't feeling well so they came knowing that. But I says I will take the precautionary measures so that you don't get sick. Glad I'm done with that. Not gonna get anyone sick. But yes, I did get to wear a fun little doctor mask. It really bother your eyes by the way. Significant thing going on today for me. I forgot to mention this at the end of yesterday's vlog and I think it was probably because mom pretty much keeps me on top of everything. She keeps me on my schedule, lets me know where I'm supposed to be and when. And so I neglected to remind you guys that today I'm getting these stitches out without the help of Dr. Mindy Bingham. I know. I'm actually going to have a paid professional doctor do that. So I'm okay. headed in to see that doctor. It for free. It's because she's an intern. So I'm gonna head in to get that taken care of right now. Mom is done with her nail clients for the day. Yeah. So she's ready to kind of just chill, relax, have a snack, play with Brex, Hazy, pick up the kids in a minute. Play with them without touching them just in case I'm still confused. Yeah, even recording this I'm getting nervous being this close to her. But she's well past the 24 hours of antibiotic. Hopefully that's working. Just hopefully that's working. Doesn't pass around, doesn't get to anybody else. You guys have been amazing on the comments today. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Out of the gates, thousands of people wishing you well. Seriously, and thank you so much because guys, when moms are sick, it's just not supposed to happen. Yeah, it, nobody, nobody's Brandon happy. does a pretty good job though, picking up and uh, taking care she's of She's saying that to be nice. It is It is always eye-opening when that happens. Hoping the mom's on the mend now. Speaking of mend, I'm gonna go unmend this eye. It looks good though. It does and look really good, you guys. I'll give you one last little close of this with a light. We've been doing some gnarly gross ones of it being infected, but it looks good now. Like you got a little teeny strip of bruising mostly with the stitches it's just like the blue color through here but other than that like once he takes that out I feel like that's going to be almost a non-existent scar he did an amazing phenomenal job we're gonna go get that pulled out right now you're coming with me and when I get back I will be stitchless I won't be in stitches hmm Slightly more qualified than my wife, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's such an easy stitch though. That first one, yeah, this one looked complicated. I'm like, you're not touching this one. This kind of weaves in and out, goes right up by my eye. Yeah. Do you want me to hold on or do you do You that? are doing, nope, I'm just wiping the ointment off. Oh, okay, gotcha. There's something about being so close to your eye, you just get I so nervous. Know. Especially when I bring sharp tools to them. Yeah, but hopefully. Okay, I'll sit very still. You didn't have a lot of swelling. Oh, that's good. Because I think he's got like 500 knots in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the takeout process a little harder. That's all right. Huh? Yeah, a little bit. Let me know if you can't stand it. No, no, it's good. I mean, as long as it's not a bad pinch, I don't care. Whew. What happens is when you swell, then these loosen up, and you are not loose at all. So you didn't have, didn't yeah, have any you didn't swelling. have hardly any swelling at all, yeah. Mainly what you're feeling is me pulling up on that knot. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to get underneath the knot so I can clip it. It's just so tight that that's what you're feeling. 
Oh, don't mind us, we're just <laughs> freaking awesome. How are you doing, man? <laughs> you got that text tonight, the pathology? Oh, yes. Yeah, report. my wife did. She told me about it. Thank you. So we were right. There's some super, super rare things that are horrible that can look like that. But the good news is they're super, super rare. There's something called an angiosarcoma, and it's nearly universally fatal. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm glad you told me about that ahead of time. <laughs> no, no, it's like getting hit by a meteorite from Saturn. Probably shouldn't waste much time worrying about that. Right. So all the stitches are coming out right now. I'm just going to put this little band-aid on that kind of looks like a little butterfly band-aid. Okay. will actually glue it onto your face. Start to transition back into your life a little yeah. bit. I wouldn't like go scuba diving or something. We leave for Hawaii a week from today. But when you're in Hawaii, so have that silicone band-aid on when you can. What island? Oahu, North Shore. It's our family's first time. <laughs> all right, head back just a little bit. You do whatever you got to do. None of these have loosened up. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm trying not to smile because I know it wrinkles my face too. Mm -hmm. But I keep smiling. Oh, you're gonna glue that on right now? Yep. Okay. You get to go on vacation. No more ointment. I'm gonna have you just close. I'm just gonna wipe that ointment off so this will stick. You totally ignore it until Friday. When you get out of the shower on Friday, that's when you're gonna grab hold. And you're gonna be tempted to pull from side to side okay. just because of the way I'm gonna put these on. Right. You're gonna pull from the bottom. Bottom up. up. Yep. Okay. Take and that's off. when I start going with the scar yep. away or whatever yep. that's called. And that's this one. This has a little bit of alcohol in it. It might sting your eye just a little bit. Yeah, this is the one you're gonna wear all the time, except for when you shower or do water activities when okay. you, since you're going to Hawaii. So physically take it off when I go into the water. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Oh, this may drive you crazy right underneath your lid like but the nice thing is you're probably only gonna need two of these. They might curl up in two days. Okay. And if they do, you can kind of trim them. Just be careful because it is close to your eye. Like I said, I glued them on so they should stick pretty good. Slightly new look for me here. Just got out of the doctor's office. I said this the last time on my first appointment, said it after surgery, the coolest doctor I've ever dealt with. Dr. Todd Cook, the guy's amazing, hilarious, filled with amazing stories. And I love the way he tells stories. Great doctor, incredible surgeon. You guys are gonna see this new look here until Friday. I've got these Steri strips glued to my eye. They said that it was so well done, both by the doctor and then also in the post care where I did the icing and the ointment and stuff like that, that there was just no swelling. And so normally there'd be a little bit of swelling that will loosen the stitches and then when the swelling goes back, it gives you some room to play with to pull them up and cut them and stuff. But there was just nothing. It was completely tight right up to my face. So it made it difficult to take the stitches out, but it just means that the scarring is gonna be absolutely minimal. He says that you'll never even know that it happened. Something that I forgot to mention, I don't even think I said this in the vlog, but they did have to send that out. I think they call it to a pathologist. But anyway, to have it screened and tested to see if there was anything harmful or dangerous with the little thing that they took out of my face and everything came back negative. It's all good to go. It's exactly as he thought it was. So that is great news as well. I think you probably heard most of it while I was in there. Basically this until Friday and then I wear this magical scar away. I don't know what it is, but they were talking about it like it is the magic eraser of scars. I'm gonna be wearing that for six weeks. Tiny little silicone strip that goes right on the cut. Overall, incredibly pleased with the way that it's turned out. Grateful to have it kind of winding down, taking that next step to getting back to normal. This bruising will go away. We'll get these strips off and we'll see what it looks like. Thank you guys for the love and the support throughout this entire process because it's pretty gnarly having my eyes sewn shut for a couple days and then having Mindy remove the stitches and then moving to now to having the stitches completely out. It's been kind of a fun little journey. I have to say, I thought about this this morning, you guys, and I just I just wonder if there's something to it. After the faking sick to skip school video went viral, we somehow then had Ryler get a horrible strep throat, knocking him out of school for three days. I had my eyes sewn shut and now Mindy is home with strep throat. I think maybe it's safe to say we should be doing any more fake sick videos or karma comes back and gets you hard. Home from the eye doctor. It turns out he's way more than an eye doctor. Like anything facial surgery, he specializes yeah. in. Anything. I even told him about Brex's like scar right here. I'm like we can get rid of that easy. I'm like what? But I'm home now. A lot of care will need to be taken place in Hawaii. So mom already hooked mm -hmm. me up. Got me like a bunch of sunscreen. He yes. recommended like a stick. We got a bunch of well, those. Even so. those like things that you had burned off a yes. couple months yeah. ago. You have to use sunscreen. Also come back bigger. And come forever. back different colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, those are looking fantastic too, you guys. So oh, anyways, I'm Brandon, and I'm so pretty. Glad to be home. Looking glamorous. Oh my gosh. The real question. On everyone's mind, mom, how are you feeling? You've been done with work. You've been able to sit on the couch for like a minute? No? I laid get... down for like 30 minutes, so I had to go get the boys. Uh, I honestly am a little discouraged because I thought I'd feel a lot better. We're thinking 24 yeah. hours on antibiotic and you'd be just feeling high as can be. I'm not <laughs> feeling great at all. I so appreciate everyone's sweet comments, all of the messages. Seriously, you guys are rock stars. Thank you so much. We're gonna beat this. We're gonna get better. This eye's gonna be better. Mom's gonna be better. We're gonna keep the sickness away from the kids. And we're gonna be 100% when we take off here in a week. Crew and Rye Guy are off at Scout. Rex and Hazy are they're chasing each other so much like fun. crazy. You should go downstairs. down and see what they're doing. Okay, let's go. Hey, what game are you guys playing? Hi, Z. Hi, Z. 
Hide and seek. Hazy, I see you. Okay, whose turn is it? Who's gonna count now? Uh, me. Okay, Brexy count. Hazy, go on, go on, go on. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to. Now it's my turn. Wow, that was a pretty quick round. Okay, so do you have to touch me or you just say you found me? You just have to say he found you. So if you just see him and point to him, you got him. Or, you, if, or if you want to touch them, you can. Okay, it's Hazy's turn to touch. Okay, so this is home base. So to get back to home base, if you hide and you sneak back and you're sitting on this couch, then that means you made it safe, okay? That's for attack. No, that's also for hide and seek. That's how like when the person goes out to look and if they can't find oh, you. Yeah. And then you is that how it works? And then you then you're the person that has to come. Yes, okay, so somebody let me know in the comments below. It's been so long since I've played like real deal hide and seek. We want to play some epic hide and seek because the other day Brexton was hiding because he was in trouble and he had the most insane hiding spot that we as a family collectively searched the house for 15 minutes and couldn't find him. Where were you, Brexy? Um, I was in the closet. In the hallway linen closet. Like it's this skinny narrow closet with no depth at all and he found a way to wiggle in there and pull it shut and I was like, dude, you would be hide and seek champion if we ever played real deal hide and Seek. We would love to play some real hide and seek. I think the person has a base. They close their eyes, they count while other people hide, and everyone has to try and get back to the base before the person goes out and finds them. Or them and then they have to count. is it just last person found? You just stay hidden until uh, the person gives up. And you said, find you when you when you hide. Okay, are you it? So you're gonna count? No. Yeah. Okay, hazy count, hazy count. Hazy's count, and I'm gonna go hide. Okay. You gotta close your eyes so you can't see us. <laughs> How'd you find me? Okay, I'll keep keep hiding. Okay, you find me again later. I can't fit in here because of all these Nerf guns. Are you safe in here? I'm still in here. Yeah, can I keep hiding? Okay. <laughs> This is the best game of hide and seek I've ever played. She went and found Rex and now she's pretending she's gonna find me. Yeah. Find me. <laughs> okay. This used to be a blanket closet, but we've kind of like thinned out our blankets as we've added more and more minkies to the collection. Now it's becoming the Nerf gun depository. Easy, are you gonna hide in there? Well, you can't tell us where you're gonna hide. That ruins the hiding spot. I thought I had in here. Just pretend you don't know. Okay, Brex is gonna count now. You gotta close your eyes. You gotta close them for real. Yell base? How does this work? Base is in there. Made it to base. Found you. Found you. No, you don't hide in here. No, you have to close your eyes, okay? Found you, Pitbull. Raga, did you finish the book that you're reading for your book report? Yeah. The entire thing start to finish? Yeah. Then you get your Kindle back. I already got it. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, guess what? You've earned it, dude. Let's play on it tonight, want to? Yeah. Came in here to be all close to you. I don't know if I want to do that. No, <laughs> not yet. I feel like you're like at, what would you say, 60%? Yeah, probably. 60, we're hoping that tomorrow maybe 80. I do feel like you are better today than I yesterday. I feel like, yo, there's no question. But this morning I was like, I'm so confused. I feel the same as yesterday. So I'm just grateful that I'm feeling a little Slowly bit better. Slowly getting a little bit better. Got my stitches out today. Getting my face back to the bizzle that we know and love. <laughs> <laughs> but it is nice to have those out. I have to get the kids' rooms ready to be painted. I'm going to move all of their dressers and everything away from the walls. All kinds of stuff. Gonna be amazing. Guys, welcome to the family if you are new. Love we're not followers. sick all the time. We promise. It's just been a strange week. That's the thing is we're never... Uh, I'm not saying it. Ooh, that was close, but we really Honestly though, like I said this, actually I think in the hospital parking lot, I'm like, I wonder if it's from that viral video of faking sick. Oh, it's karma to the max. That like, literally, I have my eyes sewn shut, you get sick, Riley gets sick, who knows. I would rather be sick than the kids, so it's fine. But guys, we love you. Come back tomorrow. Don't miss a beat, don't miss a minute, never miss a second. We love you guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. I so appreciate everyone's I just think this thing looks funny on me today. I keep looking at it. Maybe I need to turn it to the side. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna poop. I'm gonna poop. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Love I already you. said that one time. I said, I said the same thing twice. <laughs> you need to put all this in. <laughs> <laughs> How many people did I infect? I have no idea. Yeah. Were you infected? Let us know in the comments below.